Gon's osteotomy, uh, it's also known as a PAO, periacetabular osteotomy. You'll hear it called that sometimes. Or even it's called a Bernese osteotomy. When you're born, the hip is a ball in a socket joint. Typically, the socket forms right over the ball, and this is the situation that's normal. This is what you want. In a patient with a condition called hip dysplasia, that means that their hip didn't form properly for whatever reason, and it's usually present at birth. But the socket tends to be shallow and it tends to be tilted, so the ball, instead of riding in the center of the cup like it should, uh, actually rides on the edge of the cup. And that's what causes pain. There's a ring of cartilage there called the labrum, and if the ball rests on the edge of the cup, it causes a tear in the labrum. And so that is when uh, we see patients and we consider them for the Gon's osteotomy. The Gon's osteotomy um, is a procedure. We make a three or four inch incision in the front of the hip joint and we make some controlled cuts in the bone that allow us to move the cup over, to, over the top of the ball. Uh, and then we secure it in place and then it heals over time. It takes a while to heal and it takes a while to rehabilitate. But once you've been through that process, your hip is now in the correct shape. And if you're a young, active person, uh, then that's important because that means you get to keep your own hip joint, don't have to have a hip replacement. Uh, and thankfully, it also reduces pain quite a bit as well. The rehab after a Gon's osteotomy is long, uh, but it's worth it. Um, in the beginning, what you're basically doing is just healing the bone. During that time, you have therapy, they move your hip, make sure that you don't get too stiff, uh, but really not a lot of weight bearing or strengthening in the beginning. And then we have a phased approach to therapy. So once the bone is healed at about six weeks, then you can start weight bearing and doing some more um, strengthening and range of motion activities with the physical therapist. And then we basically progress as people get stronger uh, then we add to what they're doing. So they may start, you know, some early strengthening in the beginning. Uh, that's followed by, you know, light straight line jogging, uh, then running, then twisting, turning, cutting type activities, uh, all the while strengthening up with the therapist. Um, it's a long process. It can be six months to a year for full recovery. It's a fairly specialized procedure. There's only a couple of surgeons usually in each state that would perform this type of a procedure. I've had training in this procedure at the Mayo Clinic. I've done hundreds of these procedures over the years, uh, have developed a really good system. Uh, Dr. Uh, Mike Elman and I have uh, developed the Hip Preservation Center here at uh, Panorama, and we're basically able to take uh, anyone, uh, young or old, with hip problems, sort of decide and find what their hip problem is, and uh, each of us has uh, the tools in our tool chest to help fix those problems. So it's a really nice situation to be in here with Dr. Elman.